Wow. Hi everyone, it's me Sangi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So guys, for the D9 daily vlog, I thought about doing a mukbang uh, and only eating like Korean food for this particular mukbang because guys, you know, I had some work in town and I couldn't like film a lot of the activities that I did today. So, you know, during the mid of the day, this idea just struck my mind. So I was just like, hey, how about I film a mukbang, like eating only Korean food, you know? So yeah, that's why I am going to film this mukbang and I hope you all enjoy watching me eat all this delicious food. So yes. <laughs> so guys, this is the very famous gin ramen and this one is kind of more like a soupy ramen, okay? And then out here, like I showed you all a little bit pehle, I have got kimbap and this I got it from Kelly's Cafe and this I just got from a mart, okay? So yeah, this one I have chicken uh, chicken kimbap out here. I am definitely not going to be able to eat all of it because to be very honest, I'm not very big fan of kimbap, okay? But the thing is, you know, the combination of kimbap and uh, ramen, I have heard that it's really good and I've never actually tried kimbap and ramen together, okay? But then... From what I've seen in many Korean dramas and all that, um, it tastes quite good. So I am excited to try it. The one that I opened is soya sauce uh, and I've got some kimchi. Oh my god, my mouth is watering already. Oh, they gave me two, oh, they gave me two packets of soya sauce. So yeah, till the time my ramen is out there. Now let me try the kimbap, okay. I'm about to try the uh, chicken kimbap. So yeah, it looks something like this. Hmm, it smells really good. So I'm going to dip it in the soya sauce and have it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. Guys, like, I'm not very big fan of seaweed, okay? Like, I don't like the smell of, you know, fishy smell. I don't like it that much. But maybe because I'm having kimbap after such a long time, it's really good. And I'm going to try the kimchi. Hmm. Kimchi, as always, never disappoints, you know. So, yeah, I guess now it's been more than five minutes. Yeah, okay, I had to keep it for four minutes. So, I think it's been more than that. And, yeah, now I'm going to have my cup ramen. Okay, so many of you guys must be wondering the price for this food, you know, because I do at times when I watch people's mukbangs, you know. So this cup ramen, it cost me Indian rupees 115, 115 at the convenience store. And this uh, kimbap in Kelly's Cafe it is 300, but Kelly's Cafe, they make the best kimbap, okay? So yeah, I'm going to have the ramen. It's all cooked. Oh my God, it's looking so good. And you know, if you guys are also watch Korean drama and all, you, know, you might have seen people do this. So they usually roll the cover and they use this kind of so that you know the noodle it does not um, yeah it does not drop mmm <laughs> mmm so good okay that's my dad who's cooking dinner <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to try this kimbap and I'm going to dip it in ramen sauce because I've seen so many, you know, people do it in like dramas and I've actually really wanted to try it. So I'm going to do it. I mean, for me to be very honest, 
Korean food is not something that I would like, you know, eat on a daily basis. Yeah, because I'm just, like this kind of taste is quite new to me, right? But then, yeah, it's some, sometimes, once in a blue moon, I think I kind of enjoy this food. So, yeah, I'm going to dip it in soy sauce. I liked the way kimbap tasted when I dipped it in the ramen sauce, but I think it tastes more mm, tasty dipping it in the soy sauce. I don't know if you guys watch this Korean YouTuber, her name is Zoo Young, and like you know, she's she's what she's like not even 50 kg, okay, but then she eats like 10 people are serving at once. I don't know how she does that, but it's so appetizing to watch her videos. I think my sister Karma, uh, yeah, she uh, made me watch her video back in 2019. And then after that, I've been a fan of So Young. <laughs> I think I can definitely finish the ramen by myself, but the kimbap, I'll have to share it with my family. Oh my god. Mmm. The kimchi, it's like sour, but it's good. So yeah, I'm going to have the kimbap once again, dipping it in. The soy sauce. Ramen soup on a cold winter day is like just the best, you know. surprised at myself because I'm actually loving kimbap right now. I think I'm starting to get a little full. So I'm gonna have like the last kimbap and I'll give the rest to like my family. Oh my god. I forgot to take a photo of the food before eating. I am, you know, there's this thing about vlogging, okay? So when I'm like making vlogs, like we, I usually talk about this thing with like my fellow YouTuber friends also, but then, you know, when we are vlogging, we're so focused on making videos, okay, that sometimes we forget to take photos. Okay, my ramen is about to get over. So I'm gonna eat one last kimbap. So, one, two, eight, nine. Mm. There is eight kimbap left now, so that so it means that I eat eight kimbap. Wow, this is actually the first time that I eat so many kimbap, and I actually loved it. Wow, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna give this to my dad and my brother, okay? And I'm gonna finish this ramen. Anyways guys, so that's it for my mukbang. I hope you all enjoyed watching me eat. And I hope that after watching this video, even you guys will go and try kimbap and ramen and some tasty Korean foods out there. I feel like Korean food has got so many varieties that we all cannot help but just love Korean food. So yeah, that was it for my mukbang. And yeah, let's make my dad 
uh, that tasted kimbap. I think it will be his first time trying kimbap. And let me ask his reaction. So let us see. So guys, it's my uh, Abba's first time trying kimbap. Mm, Honest reaction. Mm. You too. You can't. Kimchi. Mm. <laughs> 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 